Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the trickier parts of the Pirate Panic. Right, we're on page 6, just wanted to show you how to build the spiral. Run the candle or wax around the outside of each can. And then, with that spacer in place, I don't glue that spacer up, should I just almost use that as a glue shield? Put some glue there slide the first one down. Then I'm quite generous with the glue ready for the next one. Slide that down. Slightly offset. Third one. Again in the same direction. Push down hard. Then you put this slightly smaller one and this one you do not rotate round. This one you, if you like, put in the centre. Glue again. And the next large one again. You don't rotate this one. You push it down. So that's a group of three together, really. Now you start spiral again. There. And going in the same direction. And then last of all, small amount of glue just for the last spacer. So before you slide the tentacles down, I use a bit of sandpaper to just rub this curve here. Because this is the edge that moves against the cam and it's really important it's rounded. Then use the wax. Then if you've got some finer sandpaper and then paper, polish that as well so it's really smooth. And do the same for this, sand and wax that shaft because these have got to swing easily. Then drop them down. And here's the second one, sorry. Sand, wax, polish. And drop the large spacer. Quickly do the last two for you. Polish. And drop. And you don't do those. I just want to show the importance of getting this next part square because this is wobbling because there's a spacer on the other side. Use two of the spare spacers. Put them at each corner so it's nice and flat. Then glue on there right into the corner as square as you can. If you have a square use it in both directions. And then for gluing the second one, if you build this, that's where you need to put, use that as a measure, this is where you need to put the next one in line with the end of that. And again, check it's very square vertically. And the last one in the corner. And again, check it's absolutely square in both directions and leave to dry. Right, I just want to show a different way of putting the arms on because I think uh, it gets a better hold of the glue. Instead of gluing uh, these little spaces on those pegs, I actually glue the pegs into this piece and glue his epaulets on and the neck. Then I drop the two arms down. Then I glue those two spaces on. Well, that's just a firmer way of doing it than just putting a tiny dab of glue on the spaces as you push them in. This is probably the most critical part of the build. Put wax under, under here. I sand the tops of these to a point just to help line up easier. Put a blob of glue on each of them. 
and then you want to line it up and push the head down but don't push it down too tight you might need to help your child with this because they might be tempted to push it all the way in just line up just push it partially down the reason you don't do it too tight is it because it can when you turn this handle on get to a tight point at the top if you've pushed it too far down but that's that's just right and that's the action you get and then leave to dry the very last point is this space just make sure you don't glue it too high so it hits the underside of there and then glue this one underneath and then you turn the handle If you do it faster, he will he will flop back both ways. 